Hi guys, welcome to a new video. As you can see here, I have um, a nice perfume which I will unbox now with you. I have a sample of the scent, so I tried it uh, first and now I'm opening it. This is how it gets unboxed. It has a nice plastic with a foil in here. This is a scent which came into my radar. Wow! You have here a magnet and then the bottle is inside at first sight. You saw my bottle before I did. So this is how it looks, the packaging from Parfums de Nicolai. It has here a nice pattern, a nice booklet inside on some high quality paper and uh, with the history of the brand things about Patricia de Nicolai and so on. So I have here the big bottle, the 100 milliliter 3.4 uh, Oz. This is an Eau de Parfum and this is how the bottle looks like. In my opinion, it's quite generic. So I guess if you look on uh, Aliexpress, you will find this uh, quite fast. But what matters the most is what's inside. And what's inside is absolutely fantastic. It's a scent to die for. So this is so New York Intense from uh, Parfums de Nicolai is a scent uh, released in 2014. I was looking for a nice patchouli scent and I found out about this brand. Ended up buying the New York Intense instead of the patchouli because I wanted to buy the patchouli instead. I got a sample to try it first and I was so impressed by this scent that I literally got a full day of wear from two little sprays from a sample guys this is unbelievable I said okay I need to get a bottle of this uh, awesomeness because um, it just smells regal it smells as if you own the company so when you go inside a room you smell like this you smell like you are the owner of the company this is the the, the feeling i get from um, using this perfume this is clean it's citrusy it's uh, spicy it's for a gentleman i looked online a bit to see what other people say about this scent and there are like comparisons, it smells like this, it smells like that, it's a bit old school, it's this, is that. But I think because this perfume surely has a ton of natural ingredients, each of us, we will get a different uh, vibe from this scent, if I can say so. So this here, as example, smells a bit older uh, gentleman smells a bit old money if i can say so it's not outdated it's like you take uh, take the agilev from roja the agilev smells like a sheep from the same complexity of mitsuko from gerland which was done 100 years ago let's say as an example but the agilev is awesome it's actual it has been made by Roja Dove to, to smell great, to smell complex, to smell rich today, so not 100 years ago. The same with uh, New York Intense from uh, Parfums de Nicolai, which I will now spray on my white shirt. Wow, uh, there was already in the sprayer perfume, so you, you saw the box was new, but uh, when I sprayed, it didn't have this uh, empty sprayer, it just went away. So. Guys, it's fantastic. It's even better than my sample. Oh my God, I'm so thrilled that I bought this perfume. So it has top notes like lemon, thyme, bergamot, and petit grain, some few others, but these are like the main ones. So from this, you can understand it's a old school barber shop type of uh, smell. It is spicy, citrusy, a bit uh, fougere, I would uh, call it. Wow, it's just fantastic. So I tell you, the bottle, smells much better than it was uh, the sample so sometimes it is like this sometimes it's the opposite i'm happy that my bottle now smells better than it was the sample so in top notes i told you middle notes clove lavender and black pepper and in base notes oak moss styrex and tonka bean absolute so it's it's citrusy a very good mood inducing forgotten masculinity type of scent if i can call it this way so uh, some people uh, compare this to bois de portugal from creed but the the main difference between them two is that guys this one 
I sprayed from the little sample in the morning at 7 when I left home and when I was coming at 7 in the evening from the office it was still projecting like crazy around me so I could feel it very well around me after 12 hours how Parfums de Nicolai are able to do such a citrusy, spicy, fougere type of smell to be so long lasting I have no idea and uh, this brings me to another point if they can do it everybody can do it so like why uh, you have some perfumes like a Bois de Portugal as example which do not have such long uh, longevity and then you get this argument uh, you're anosmic and uh, it's the naturals and uh, you you don't feel your scent anymore no guys this you feel it you feel it and you feel it. New York Intense, if you like this type of scents like um, let's say classic old school barbershop type of smells, this is your cup of tea. I was a bit unsure if I will get a bottle of this because the initial sprays from the sample smelled a bit older than I am. I am still in my 30s. I am not an older mature gentleman but i don't think this will appeal to somebody who's 20 something 24 25 this is a scent that requires a certain understanding of the scents and also an attire that you need to have like dressed up you must be dressed well this is not a jeans and t-shirt smell it will be out of place say 35 and up give it a try if you're uh, in the 20s Please let me know in the comments because uh, cheers to you. This is not an easy scent. This is a, a scent that requires a bit of maturity, let's say. And um, I don't think with 20 you can have that maturity in terms of perfumery. Longevity is so good that I would say unbelievable for me that the Eau de Parfum can be so long lasting from, uh, from this scent. The older formulations tend to be sometimes stronger. So you have... Hermé Equipage, which they say that uh, in the past was so awesome and now not anymore. You have Bois de Portugal from uh, Creed. You have this one. So yeah, I think um, if you have the money and the desire to smell in this direction, New York Intense is your perfume. It's very long lasting. It smells very good. I like it. It's very modern. It has been done to represent the modern gentleman. So. I like it uh, very much. The versatility, like I said, it's very good in seasons all year round. It's so powerful, classy and simply stunning. I give it a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10 perfume. And this is a living proof of what great perfumery should be. These are giving me hope for the future of perfumery. And I will look more into this house uh, of Nikolai because they came into my into my collection with a bang so like in today's age it's difficult to find something that is knocking you out of your socks no like you say in uh, USA but this came with a bang and came to stay New York intense ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this unboxing description and enthusiastic video from me and I hope to see you soon on the channel again please let me know in the comments below if you tried it or if you are curious to try it in the future. So take care, stay healthy. Bye bye.